Is a gaming router worth it when you're not a gamer? Does it actually give you faster internet speed or is that all just marketing hype? Look, I have reviewed tons of routers on those channels over the years and I have to be honest, a gaming router eh, was never my go-to router. So I reached out to my friends at ASUS and they sent over the new flagship beast of a router called the ROG Rapture GT BE98 Pro. And it's everything you would expect to see. Eight tentacle-like antennas, check. Fancy LEDs, check. Something that looks like a creature that came out of a spaceship, definitely check. Nice, but what we wanna know is, does it have any benefits for us non-gamers? Well, let's break it down. So, internet speed is made up of several factors. It starts with the most obvious, which is, what internet package are you paying for? If you're paying for 10 megabits per second, nothing on this planet is gonna get you 500 megabits per second. No YouTube video, hack, tip, or trick is going to magically bypass this hard limit. Sorry, just the way it is. So, check your internet speed package. Run a speed test on your computer. If your internet speed is less than 50 or 60% of the speed that you're actually paying for, call your service provider and ask them to check the equipment and the cables. Because there's nothing that you're gonna do that's gonna improve your speed if the problem is on their side. Speaking of connectivity, that is the next factor that impacts your speed. There are two ways to connect to the router. You have the Wi-Fi and you have the LAN cable. Now, obviously, none of us wanna walk around the house with a cable hanging from our phones or our tablets. So, let's talk about Wi-Fi. And frankly, this is where this router goes from great to incredible. And the proof is in the pudding. So, let's make some pudding. We're gonna run some tests. First test is right by the router. On the left-hand side, you're gonna see my Wi-Fi analyzer. That is the speed between my device and the Wi-Fi itself. On the right-hand side, you're gonna see a good old speed test, just so you can get an idea of what the download and the upload speeds are like right by the router. Now, let's take it out of the office. Let's go all the way back into the house because we wanna show the difference because not all of us are gonna hang out right by the router. So again, left-hand side, speed test between my device and the router itself. Look at that, 860 megabits per second, even though it's that further away from the router. And then we have the internet upload and download. Okay, let's head all the way outside the house. To me, this is the most ridiculous part, just showing you how powerful this router actually is on the left hand side so far away from the router 136 megabits per second across the entire house through the house and onto the street and on the right hand side look at that 139 download and 86.7 meg upload and it's all in the way that it handles wi-fi we all know that wi-fi works on bands we have 2.4 gigahertz, which is slow, but works at greater distances, which is why things like your smart home devices typically use that band. You get the five gigahertz band, which is faster than 2.4, but has shorter distances. This is typically what your phone, your laptop connects with. And then you get the newer six gigahertz, which improves the Wi-Fi speed even further. With this router, you get the dual six gigahertz band, which enables six gigahertz band and multi-link operation edges to the AI mesh backhaul connection, and you get the max front hall connectivity for your Wi-Fi 6E devices. And of course, ASUS has focused on upgrading its exclusive AI mesh technology with Wi-Fi 7. This is super important because it looks like this year we will finally get Wi-Fi 7 on more devices, which is the latest evolution in Wi-Fi. You get all these bands, including the Wi-Fi 7 with the new 320 megahertz channels in the six gigahertz band and 4096 quadrature amplitude modulation. Basically, it's a technology that is used to encode bits into wireless signal, significantly increasing the network capacity and throughput with speeds of up to 30 gigabits per second. 
This tech is like taking that freeway from two lanes to eight lanes. Not only does everything travel faster, but it allows for more vehicles and larger vehicles to also travel faster. The router serves you today with all the current Wi-Fi tech that we have and will serve you into the future. Perfect. Gamers want the fastest and most reliable internet speed, which you can get when you connect your computer directly to the router via a LAN or an ethernet cable. And the same applies to us non-gamers. The GT BE98 Pro has all the fast ports you could ever want. It has a dual 10 gig port, which is more than enough. But if that isn't enough for whatever reason, they've even got something called LAN aggregation. That means you can further boost your wired device up to 20 gigabits per second. This is perfect for things like your NAS, your backup devices, or even better. If you have two network cards in your computer, you can use that too. Now, there is a LAN port marked as gaming port on the router. I think they should have called it the traffic cop mode because anything connected to this port automatically gets priority over everything else. So connect your main computer to it and your computer becomes like that traffic cop on the freeway, siren blazing, and everybody moves out of your way. It also has four 2.5 gig ports, which is perfect for those 4K or 8K TVs that you may have, and of course, a gaming console if you have that too. Now, when it comes to connecting this router to the internet, the router has triple WAN ports, including a 10 gig WAN port, a 2.5 gig WAN port, and a USB WAN port, plus, you can actually connect your 4G or your 5G phone to the router, which can be used as a backup in case your main service provider goes down, it switches over to that. So you never lose that glorious internet connectivity. So the next factor that impacts your internet speed is the number of devices that are using the internet. Apparently the average home has something like 21 devices. The more devices that you have, the more bandwidth that needs to be shared with those devices so that they could get their internet fix. Do you remember the pain of having a super slow computer and how everything took forever to load and how buggy and laggy it was? Well, a router is essentially a computer just without the screen and the keyboard. It has hardware chips, processors, and software that all work together to perform the job that it needs for your data to get it sent around your network. So if your router's hardware is like your old Pentium 3 or Pentium 4 back in the day, slow technology, which means that it cannot perform at the speed that it needs to be. And the results is that each device is not being serviced and therefore, you guessed it, slow connectivity. Now gamers cannot have this at all. They call it lag. It could be the difference between winning a game or lying face down whilst being looted because somebody started streaming Netflix in the other room. So the GT BE98 Pro is specifically designed with performance hardware. It is powered by a quad core 2.6 gigahertz CPU and Wi-Fi chipset, which means that it's even the most demanding and bandwidth hungry task sent by multiple devices at the same time could easily be managed. It has the power and the ability to process all that information and deal with everything that you throw at it. Now, is this for everyone? Of course not. If you've got like two devices and are just browsing the web and watching some YouTube and the occasional Netflix, your current setup is probably fine. However, if you have a tech heavy household, everybody has their devices. You have tried everything to get as much speed as possible out of your existing setup and nothing is working. So this is the next logical step. You've typically upgraded all the other tech in your life, but yet your router doesn't ever get any love, but gets all the blame. So maybe it's time to give it some love. So should you get this gaming router even if you're not a gamer? Well, yes. If you want amazing speeds on both wired and wireless, and you want to be ready for Wi-Fi 7, I've got a link in the description below with more information as there is still so much more to this router that we just haven't discussed today, like an interface that breaks down all the traffic on your network so you can finally find out who and what is hogging your bandwidth. We haven't even discussed something I'm excited about, which is the new Guest Network Pro, where you can set up a network just for your smart home devices 
and another one just for your kids and another one for your VPN. This is way beyond your traditional guest Wi-Fi that you have right now. But we're gonna save that for another video. Now, one thing I will mention, and the reason that I love working with ASUS so much, is that they place such a high focus on security with their AI protection, and it's free, and no subscription is needed. You definitely wanna check out what I'm talking about right over here. And before you head out, hit the head down here to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in this video. So let's go.